Recent killings of South Salt Lake police officer David Romrell and Provo officer Joseph Shinners have sparked online discussions of a mandatory death penalty for killing a police officer. ABC 4's Rick Aaron spoke to officials about this idea. In the wake of these recent police killings, some social media posters have called on Utah lawmakers to implement a mandatory death penalty for the convicted murderers of law enforcement officers. State Representative Paul Ray of Clearfield is a former police officer himself and a proponent of the death penalty, not as a deterrent, but as a solution. Any convict that's ever been put to death is never killed again after that. And that's the problem is people forget when they go inside the prison, they're not done killing. Now our correctional officers are at danger. Uh, other inmates are in danger. Representative Ray sponsored a 2017 bill that makes targeting a law enforcement officer an aggravating factor that can lead to a death sentence. But even he says that mandatory is going too far. I, I'm never supportive of mandatory. I still think that control needs to be with the courts. But I would certainly, you know, I, there's very few cases that I would not support uh, somebody being put to death for killing a, a law enforcement officer. Jason Stevenson, the strategic communications director of the American Civil Liberties Union of Utah, told me that the highest court in the land has already spoken on this issue. The Supreme Court ruled back in the 70s that mandatory death penalty is unconstitutional because it takes away the discretion from the juries about whether or not to apply that ultimate penalty. Juries have a job to do. They weigh the evidence, they look at the character of the people involved, they look at the circumstances and they reach their decision. Jason Stevenson of the Utah ACLU also points out that death penalty cases take decades and can be extremely costly to prosecute. In Salt Lake City, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Utah's last execution was in 2010 when convicted killer Ronnie Lee Gardner was killed by a firing squad 26 years after his crime.